DJXL with the top three Serato settings that are slowing your computer down. Stay to the end and I'll show you a fourth. All right, so with your Serato open, let's go ahead and get in into it. Uh, this is in the play mode, meaning that there's the controller is not connected. Your first, your first tip to speed up your computer and to help your Serato run faster is to make sure that your analyze stem is not checked. We see if we do uh, have that checked, it even tells you it's going to increase the computer load and may have significant uh, impact on your on your CPU on your memory. So let's leave that unchecked. And I'll show you a workaround because I know you want to use your stems. The workaround is this. The songs or the folder that you know that you want to apply stems to, take those songs and throw them over here into your stems folder. What's going to happen is Serato's going to go ahead. Here's one that's already done right here. These are in the process of being done right now. But what Serato's going to do is go ahead and pre-stem those, if you will, so that when you're live, um, the separation is already done and it won't, it won't affect your performance. Um, I have an example up here, this Young Money Bedrock. I've already uh, pre-stemmed it, and for copyright strikes, I've got to sped up and I got the key changed. But you'll see that there's no no lag or anything to to uh, to be in the way of that. Everything is working perfectly, just like it should. So once again, pre-stem your songs ahead of going out this is a lot of this stuff is stuff that you should be doing before you go out to the gig trying to solve this stuff out when you when you're when you're actually at the gig it's not going to work and it's going to cause you issues which is probably why you're watching this video now so once again number one make sure that your uh analyze stems button right here is not checked and all the songs that you want to stem pre-stem them ahead of time all right so number two latency usb buffer latency so right now I have mine set to 20, 20 milliseconds. That's 20 mill. That's not even a second, 20 milliseconds. So when I hit the a Q button or if I uh, hit an effect or whatever, it's going to be literally 20 milliseconds before uh, the controller reacts and, and you actually hear it happen. Uh, you're not going to be able to, to detect that. You're not going to be able to hear that. Um, so, but by having this more over to the left, yes, it's going to increase the tightness and the response time of you hitting that button or you or you doing your effects. But the drawback on that is going to be, it says right here, lowering the latency will re result in tighter hardware software response, but will increase computer load and may result in low audio quality. And you don't want that. So tip number two is to make sure that this is all the way over here to 20. Hit apply. Make sure you hit apply so that way it kicks in. And that's your second tip right there. And on to number three. This is one that's often overlooked. Matter of fact, number four is off, often overlooked as well. But check this out right here. Maximum screen updates per second. I've got this set at 20. Now this means right here that my screen that I'm looking at, my computer right now, is being refreshed 20 times a second. I can't even see that with the human eye. As a matter of fact, Remember with the old with the cell phones, you can see the lines running down the, the TV or the computer. That's what that is. That that's the lines of resolution right there. Uh, how many times per second, or or even yeah, that the that screen refreshes. You can't tell that with the human eye. And you and this, you know what we're DJing. We're not trying to uh, to do Photoshop or anything like that. So we don't need actually um, everything to be in HD quality. So set it somewhere here in the middle. Uh, going to the to the right is going to have more CPU usage and go on to the left is going to lessen the CPU usage. If you have a retina or HD display on your on your computer and you want to use that, well, guess what? Serato's going to tell you high resolution screen display may have performance impact and requires a restart of Serato DJ Pro. So again, that's a no-no. It's going to slow down your computer. Don't do it. That's number three. Number four. This is one people don't think about. But if you've ever used Serato video, this is checked and it will slow your computer down. You want to make sure that your Serato video is unchecked. So up here with your available expansion packs, if you if you have um, Serato video, make sure that that is unchecked because if it is checked, all the resources that would normally go into playing the video are now kicked in the gear. All the uh, aspects and all the stuff right here that you see, um, yeah, all that all that's being kicked in in the background. 
all that slows down your computer. Because right now, Serato is ready to play a video. So if I just click right there, boom, it's ready to go. It's going to play a video. All that is working in the background. Most of you, 99% of you are not playing music videos nowadays um, for a lot of different reasons. But uh, yes, make sure that your Enable Serato video is unchecked. That's number four. That's your bonus. So it's your boy DJ XL with DFW DJ School. I hope this helps you out out there. Hit that like, subscribe, and we'll see you on the next one. Deuces.